I'm Kaylee. Welcome to the Roswell, Roswell Recap. Recap. place of Kayla. She's been abducted by an alien. Oh. And he's here to help a sister out. To spill the tea. Yes. On episode six of Roswell, New Mexico. Thanks. Yes. Thanks for coming. Of course. Appreciate it. This is Joel's house. Yeah. So I'm not like you had to go too far. Thank you for welcoming <laughs> me to my house. <laughs> exactly. That's why it's funny. Uh <laughs> So yeah, so Joel has seen like a couple episodes of Roswell. Do I still have lipstick on my teeth? Oh uh, no, you're good. Okay. He's good. Um, but he hasn't seen all of the episodes, no. so he might have a little bit of questions. But it's okay, because he will pick it up quick, right? Yes. Yes. What did you think? Hopefully. What did you think of tonight's episode? It was kind of mind blowing. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, there was a lot of stuff going on tonight. It just. A lot of drama, a lot of relationships, and how they began. Mm-hmm. Lots of flashbacks mm-hmm. to those 2000s. We love those little flashbacks. It is. They're like the exact same age as us. <sighs> Which is so weird. Yeah. Yeah. That was like on the same timeline as us, like yeah. in high school. Really weird. Yeah. We really, graduated really in 2008, so they graduated in 2008. Yes. So that's super weird. And Isabel kind of looked like Kayla in high school, which was really she weird. Did. I was like, uh, she kind of had her hair cut and everything. Mm-hmm. It was I crazy. totally agree. Yeah. She was very Kayla like. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, I thought it was like a really. It's always fun to have flashbacks. It is. You don't get to be the person that you are today without diving into your past and knowing where you came from before, you know? Exactly. Like, it all kind of stacks up. That, yes, absolutely. And we definitely saw a lot of that. Yes, for sure. Like. For sure. Wow. Um, Emo Alex. (laughs) So here for that. (laughs) He was so precious. I don't know if I could say dream man like any louder than emo Alex. Punk Alex. Like he was all he was it. My god. He was it. He was and just a little cute. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go into Malik's now because you opened it. (gasps) Sorry. You opened opened Pandora's box. We have to talk about it. My god. (laughs) Like what I didn't know that my heart could go through so many weaves and waves in an hour. Seriously, Be- I totally feel that. Like seeing that blossoming, that beginning, and so just cute. it was so cute. With the little guitar. Oh my Ugh. god! And mm. you gotta love a man that plays guitar. Mm-hmm. But then Alex mm-hmm. like said you can come stay in the shed because you're sleeping in your truck. <laughs> you're homeless. Yes, like, which I was super sad. It was. It was sad, but it was so. sweet. Sweet. And like you just saw this, and obviously Alex is a lot more farther along. Right, right. He's definitely more comfortable than Michael mm-hmm. is for mm-hmm. sure. So seeing Michael having that hesitation, but then also seeing that, but he does want it, but he's never felt that before. Right, and like, right. Just he's that like, hmm, whole, okay, I see that inkling. I might have to go for it. Yeah, yeah. And then for him, you know, to go and then seek him out. I really loved like so just cute. that whole development and again it reiterates to what I've been saying like this whole time because Alex in an episode you haven't seen like Alex kind of like breaks up with Michael because like Michael's doing some like shady business practices uh, uh, but no. like it's it's not that big of a deal I don't think but even still it's just like Michael loves you 
You know he does. What I mean? He does. And then seeing that scene, all of his actions, like, all of his interactions are just. Yeah, that scene in the shed when his dad came in. Like, I didn't know what to think. I was just like, oh my god. Like, my heart was in my throat. It was, yeah. It was scary. That was, was a terrifying scene. He's a terrifying, like, like he does a good job of being uh-huh, terrifying. Uh-huh. Like, for sure. So it just felt, yes. I was like, what is he gonna do with this hammer? And, oh my, like, I, I teared up. I, yeah. When he I totally just, that. like, and I was like, oh my god, that's how he broke his hand. Yes, that was the epiphany. Oh, oh my god, like, oh, so sad. And like, poor guy. Completely Doing it all for Alex. All for Alex. And Alex and his up with love. Him? What? Yeah, that makes zero sense. He broke his hand, and, and then, then he went. couldn't even go to the hospital. He just, like, wrapped it up in a cloth. <laughs> no, it looks so bad, too. Oh, it was a poor mess. Poor little bud. And just, like, in general, as much as... We've kind of always been like, Michael, yes. Like, he's True. the best. I get it. True. But, like, solidified in this. Right. Like, to not have all that happen and then, you know, he doesn't make it about all his trauma. True. You know, like, he's like, True. oh, we got to help Isabel. We got to, like, he you know. He is. He's just so, like, self-sacrificing, which is yeah. so admirable. It's yeah. so admirable of any character. True. And as if you don't have enough reasons to love him already. Like, he just well, keeps laying it on thick. Especially <laughs> considering that he's, like, kind of the bad boy. Right. But he's right. not. He's not. He is not. It's totally a friend. Yeah. Totally a friend. And it's so cute. I just... He's brushy. Oh my god, his really big cute. eyes, like in the flashbacks, his eyes were like so big mm-hmm. and just like... He does tears. have really captivating eyes, yeah. like... <laughs> Obviously, Alex just got terrified that that happened, and I'm assuming that that kind of ended their relationship, I, and like, that he just, like, went right back into the closet or something, and was like, I don't want that to happen to anyone else. Right. Well, I have to say, that was probably the darkest thing about that whole scene, was like, okay, Michael got his hand smashed, but, like, when he left, it's like, he's leaving Alex in that situation. Like, that's... We don't know what happened. We, we don't, see. and that's what's dark about it. I'm yeah. like, ugh. Well, Alex, I shudder to think what what happened next. Alex so. has implied in like previous episodes, like he talks about like his dad just being terrible, mm-hmm. and like definitely implies that there's like some mm-hmm. physical abuse, and like, so I'm sure. It's well, he, you know, he went right into the army. Right. So that could be his choice, or that could be his dad's, his dad's choice said, to be like, I'm gonna straighten you out. Literally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So terrible. Exactly. Poor little buddy. Yeah, that was awful. But, I mean, a really compelling scene. Right. Especially for their relationship. Mm-hmm. The relationship was like, yeah, it totally solidified their sh- the strength in that relationship. Malik's did give us life. Yeah. Enough said. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah, so, obviously the other big, big thing is Isabel. Isabel going cray cray. Oh. Ugh. I mean, so last week... <sighs> Kayla, she's left us again. It's okay, we did our best. Um, <laughs> so we talked last week about Isabel possibly having some sort of dissociative identity disorder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kayla was talking about her possibly being possessed by some sort of mm, other some sort of character. Other creature, creature, or, yeah. mm. Which we haven't really gotten concrete. Um, I am leaning towards the DID because it started with trauma, and that's how stuff like that works manifests itself Mm -hmm. yes very true um and then like her like blacking out and not knowing what happened like i don't know there's to me it feels like dissociative identity but obviously we don't know right but all the stuff with rosa and isabel like blew my mind i like i was very confused by their relationship like in the flashback Mm because i was like there was like a moment there. I'm like, is this a real romantic relationship? Yeah, I like it. Kind of seemed that like uh-huh. it. Kind of seemed like they were in love with each other a little bit, or like at least flirting with each other. Yeah, I mean, they especially for them to hold hands, keep holding hands, mm-hmm. and for us to like show that they're like there was like the, the uh, there was that specific shot. Yes, and yes. so that's like telling the audience right. there's something here that there is something there. So exactly. yeah, and then of course that she called herself the. Orcus. Right. Or I think that's how you say it. 
But say, like or she, when she mentioned it, which is yes. like the whole tumbling of Rosa as the fraudulent Zodiac, who's this guy, mm-hmm. but now might mm-hmm. be a woman. But then, like, she doesn't remember Rosa. And it's just, it's such That a is list. what's so weird, is like her, like, going from, like, like, acting like she's known her all her life to, like, who, like, who are you? Like, why are you around me? Like, she's so, yeah. like, standoffish. Yes. Well, then we've, they've talked about, um, with Maria, Maria talked about how Isabel was so, like, snooty, and she mm-hmm. was good friends with Rosa, too. So, I don't know if it's something, I don't know, like, if she really wouldn't have, like, seeked her out. Hmm. It's just, like, this other personality or this other entity that is seeking out Rosa for some reason and is, like, into that. I don't know. Well, then she kind of alluded to, like, it being a programming. Like, they were programmed to kill, possibly, or programmed yes. to be dangerous. Yes. So maybe it's just something, like, genetically put in their genes. Like, they, well, she, in certain situations, they're, like, you know, it's a defense mechanism. Like, hey, this girl might be spilling, spilling the beans and, like, yeah. you know, outing us as aliens. She has to go. Like, it's just an automatic, like reaction well but she but the thing that makes me say that's not right is that they haven't killed liz and liz outright knows true that's so true yeah i didn't think about that i think there has to be some sort of there's something unique in isabel like yes they obviously do have destructive powers right um especially like when they do get emotional and whatnot and you could tell that isabel was emotional like right. what I what I felt like it was alluding to was like she killed those girls because you know Rosa was upset with them because they were like mm-hmm. oh I need the drugs mm-hmm. and so then Rosa confronted Isabel and was like why are you killing these girls like you know they're right. just kids like it's fine and she's like oh well you know I'm an alien I got powers and then Rosa was like whoa and then she was like wow kill you <laughs> maybe I don't know. Yeah, I know. Have we we haven't seen any other part of that scene, right? Where Not the actual kill. moment happens, mm-hmm. right? Oh, of course we're going to be saving that one. Right. <laughs> yeah, because we only just showed... They only just told us that it was Isabel last episode. So That killed her. <sighs> yeah, so crazy. It's... But speaking of, like, their powers being destructive, like, I don't remember, like, I didn't realize, like, Max had the power to, like, destroy things, too, because they had that scene with, like, when they were kids mm-hmm. and, like, in the tent. And he killed someone. And he killed someone. When he was little. Like, he was, like, 14. I didn't know he could do that. Well, yeah, that's different than the original series. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, like, a big thing that we're realizing is there are similarities, but there's big differences, whereas he was really just a healer. Right. Right, because, yeah, that's what I've known him as, like, from the original. I was like, yeah, he just heals people, and, like, he nope. killed that, like, homeless guy yeah. that was after Isabel. So, so, it's almost like they all have destructive powers, but then they all have, like, special, like, so Isabel can do her mind thing, and Michael can move stuff, and then Max can heal. Mm-hmm. It's what it looks like so far. Um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. It is getting really interesting, for yeah. sure. I don't know, man. There was so much. Ah! And just the whole setup scene, like, where they had to, like, set up that the girls got in a car accident. That was rough. That scene was so rough. You could just, oh, all their eyes, like, looking mm-hmm. at the fire. Oh, it was, that just, was really well shot. It was. It really was. And, like, was. they were using, like, close-ups. Well, extreme close-ups mm-hmm. very effectively. And then extreme wides. Mm-hmm. And it did it, like, you felt... The emotion, you were in that but then you with felt them. empty, and like they shot it really well to really get you in there with them. Yes. Um, yes. And yeah, just and Isabel being so disconnected from the whole thing is very creepy. It is so creepy. Yeah, she's. I'm not gonna lie, she kind of creeped me out. Like those few moments where like she was kind of snapped and she was like this other like yes. person. I was like, you're kind of terrifying. Well, you know, when we were first starting the first couple episodes, it felt like Isabel was being painted as a villain. Mm-hmm. But then she kind of had like a couple like really vulnerable open episodes, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, like mm-hmm. no, that was just her being kind of closed off. But now, of course, she's kind of villainy again. So I don't think they'll ultimately make her a villain. I'm sure it's going to be some sort right. of... It's obviously not her. Like, it is her, but it's not her. Whether that be some other personality or some sort of entity, it's she doesn't have control over it. Right. And that's kind of the thing to do now in a lot of TV shows to kind of have, like, the tortured hero. Like, it's not always, like, someone who's 
solely good or solely bad. Like maybe she is kind of kind of be, you know, you like her sometimes and you hate her sometimes, yep. which I could totally get those vibes. Like, yeah. yeah. And I, th- I mean, I've been more and more impressed with the actress as it oh goes on. Oh my gosh, on. seriously. She was really impressive. Like, oh. She just has so, like, at first she was kind of like one note, and I was like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But, again, like, as she's progressed, she's shown so much vulnerability, and then in this, like, truly sinister moments, but then really, like, vulnerable, truly, like, just, like, deer caught in the headlights, right. like, it is like the most the essence of innocence and the e- essence of sinister. She like yeah. she kind of has them both, and yeah. yeah, she oh she's really good. I was I was very impressed in her acting. Yeah, just in this one episode, I was yeah. like, dang, she's and, got this. And Michael too. True. He killed it this True. episode. True. Oh my gosh. Oh, he was little. Guy. He was excellent. I mean, they all did a really nice job. Like they did. It's cause it's hard, you know, act, you know, do like flashbacks and have it be you're 10 years younger like mm-hmm. a lot of them you know i feel like made choices to try to seem younger to seem younger mm-hmm. yes yes which was super effective like they looked like high schoolers it's so true and it was really it was just like a solid episode i felt like it really was it was, it was really kind of interesting fun even though it was also really dark like I, there's always something fun about doing a flashback yes because you, yes. you're starting to see all those pieces you get to see more of the layer of the character like oh uh, it's just another aspect of why they are the way they are. Mm-hmm. We love that. Mm-hmm. It's always interesting. Absolutely. Yeah. The biggest probably turn that happened has to be I guess it was like that very last scene with Liz and Max. Oh. And after telling this oh. whole tale yes. and obviously in I mean, I wasn't, like, super into Max and Liz. Like, I was. I'm like, yeah, Max and Liz, Mm -hmm. sure. Um, That's a thing. But seeing them ten years ago, you know, you're starting to really get it. Yes. And see them interacting. That scene when they're in the field. Or, like, yes. That was a really powerful, yeah. yeah. Yes. And just kind of seeing all that chemistry that they have. Like, you've seen it in bits, but they're so guarded. But they're open here. Right. You know, they're right. open. They're yes. kids. Yes. They're way more torn and, down in that scene. Yes. And oh my gosh, And yeah. so you start seeing the opportunities. And then Liz says, I never want to see you again. I mean, I can't blame her. I like, I, I have felt her anger. Like, if that would have been me, I probably would have been really freaking pissed too. Like, blood Absolutely. runs deep. Especially siblings. Like, siblings are like... No one else shares your life experience like your sibling does. And 100%. Like, oh, I I would be pissed if anybody messed with my sibling. So well, and I totally get that anger. Especially, like, she specifically said, like, you chose to, like, have my sister go down go instead the, of yours. Take the fall for yours, yes. And, like, that is... Uh, it that cuts, that cuts deep. so deep. Mm. Oh, that line was... It was, oh. it was good, and, like, the delivery, everything about it was just, like heart-wrenching and i totally agree i think she's justified in feeling that way because there really i was isn't... pissed at him too i yeah. was like i'm right there with you liz like yeah. i i totally feel everything you're feeling and there's really no there is really no excuse for it right exactly Except for that he was young and stupid exactly i mean but it, he just didn't he at the beginning of the episode he was saying like oh you need to understand all this so you can see where we were coming from right I he, in order for them to get anywhere, because I'm sure that they're still like end game. We're looking right. at Liz and Max. Right. But for that to happen, he I feel like he really needs to like sit down and evaluate what he's been doing. And I think he needs to tell her like that he was wrong. You know what I mean? Like, he needs yeah. to have that like yeah. I can't take back what I did. You know, obviously I made the wrong choice. But, you know, he needs to apologize and he needs to, like, you know, show how he's learned and that he can grow yeah. from it. Ugh. Because obviously that's a lot. That's past. a lot to own up to. It is. For a character or a person, like, to be like, yeah, I royally messed this up. Yeah. Especially. And he really did. He did. But he was a dumb kid. And it's also, like. Well, and you're also protecting your sister, too. So it's like, you know, you kind of get both. You do right. kind of get both. But when you know that yours was wrong. True. True. I mean, that's, that's the thing. Could you do that? You were just saying, you know, it's if something tough. with your yeah. sister. Yeah, well, and, and also, they're, like, in a predicament, too, because they're aliens, and, like, 
they kind of just walked into the situation. I don't even know, like, what the conversation was. Like, we just saw, like... Michael and Max's like view, view of, of the situation as yes. opposed to what Isabel might be able to find within her mind or something. Right. Right. Yeah. Which, yeah. How are they going to figure that out? Like, how are we ever going to know? She's going to have to like meld within herself. Oh my gosh. Probably. Cause that's some crazy stuff. Cause well, yeah, she's been blacking she does, out. She does those with her mind. Like she has these mind things. True. She should be able to go inside her own mind and like, Take herself back put, to that put moment. Put some wires. <laughs> At least fit. Plug, plug them in. <laughs> this one doesn't go with this one. Yeah, this one has a Lisa Frank tag. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's... But, yeah. That, yeah. That's the missing piece of the puzzle. Yep. What happened in that cave yep. before we're, the boys we arrived. We got a lot of details, but we're still mm-hmm. missing. And exactly... What is the nature of the relationship between Rosa and Isabel? <sighs> There's got to be some layer of like romantic. I think so. It's at least very intimate. Yeah. Like very intimate. Just so interesting. One thing I'd like to mention, going on another thing. Where was Maria? Yeah, really. Yeah, why did we get a flashback of Maria in high school? That's who I want to know what her life. I want to know what her life was. I was there was like so many opportunities like for Maria to just even just to be there. Even they if she even didn't have, like, dropped her. Yeah, well, that's probably why they were like we didn't forget her. We just didn't have anything for her to do. Like that's what it felt like. <sighs> but she easily could have just been there, even if she was just like dancing with Liz or something. I don't know. Well, and I've only seen the pilot in this episode. Like, how like how present has she been? Because I feel like she was very present in, like, the original series. Has she been as present? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, there's been a couple episodes where it was, like, a lot of Maria. Oh, sure. really? Yeah. Okay. There was, like, they were, like, going hunting around with um, Rosa's mixtape. And Maria mm. was like, yeah, because Maria and Rosa were close. Oh, um. Gotcha. Well, that's, well, that's the thing. This was about Rosa in high school, and Maria talked yeah, about how they were close. I feel like but that's then, such an important part. Yeah, when well, when they uh, when Rosa was going up to like the roof, mm-hmm. and she was like talking to somebody, I thought it was gonna be Maria. Oh, but then it turned out to be but Isabel. Then it was Isabel. But I thought it was gonna be Maria for sure. Mm-hmm. So that was really weird. Um, but yeah, uh, it was a surprise. Yeah. Oh, didn't expect to see you up here. Exactly. Hey, Izzy Beal. Hi. I wanted to vomit. <laughs> mm, I don't think I can believe it. When you. <laughs> the part with Isabel and Michael and Max, and they're like taking their pictures, and you're like, oh, uh-huh, this is cute. Uh-huh. And then Isabel's like, what about Tess? Tess likes you, and I thought I might die. <laughs> But, what a way to ruin a cute picture. Seriously. Like, of all names to be like, Don't up. put that image in my brain. Like, don't even joke about it. <laughs> like, I know it's not a th- it's not gonna be a thing, but don't even joke about it. Mm-mm. Period. Mm-mm. Who? <laughs> it was both really sad, but also like really touching, like kind of seeing more interactions with Rosa and Liz. Oh yes, yes. Really solidifying their sisterhood like they oh they were close and oh, god when the part that when, song yes when they were dancing and like the well, especially because that's like she calls that her song and everything and like for that to play and then they were dancing and laughing and like <sighs> it was so sweet and just like i'm sure that's how like she wants to remember her sister like even though obviously they were right. having fights kind i was of gonna say how end. heart-wrenching that their last interaction was a fight like yeah. oh, of course of course it is it was it's a awful. drama it has to be exactly. it has to be a fight but it was oh, hard. so heartbreaking it that was, was hard to watch it really was but <sighs> it is what it is no it's it's very sad but it but it was also it's very realistic i mean sisters fight true all the time and true. It was it was nice to see that mixture of you know they didn't try to like sugarcoat it and be like right. they were just best friends they were they never perfect fought. Yeah. yeah they never had problems they never yeah. fought exactly yeah. so it was just it was just nice to see that kind of mixture of like their real life yes exactly I really liked it I thought it was really cute yeah that oh the dancing scene was adorable so the cute rush. loved it and now it's time for Roswell's very own babe watch. This week's episode of Babe Watch is a pretty easy one because we've got Alex and he's some sort of emo punk dude, which is basically the dream man, okay? He was 
vulnerable and he has his whole like being sweet with Michael and being all making out and all that stuff and he's wearing eyeliner. What more can you ask for is all I'm saying. Alex, babe watch, all you babe. I'm hoping that maybe we can, I'd love to see Isabel trying to reconnect within her own brain. I'd love yes. to see that because I yes. think that's the next step. Um, does she yeah. even know that she did it yet? Yeah, she does. Oh, okay. My, Michael told her last episode. Oh, okay. Basically. I missed that one, obviously. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, he told her. So then that's why she's like, yeah, I did it. But then Michael's saying, no, it wasn't you. It was something else. So they're kind of arguing mm -hmm. over like who's really to blame. Right. She right. is blaming herself. Whereas he's like, you were like possessed or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows what the hell's going on with that girl? Really, we just need to figure it out because it could be any number of things, really. But it it's is. True. I don't know. So I'm hoping we get a little more information on that. Yeah, that would be helpful. And then maybe because it's What's like Isabel's deal. Yeah. And so why is she so mad? Um, I don't know. She's cute. She is cute. What's everything mad so, about? I mean, she's cute even when she is mad. Exactly. <laughs> She's just showing a range. Oh my gosh, and how much did you love the little Isabel having the... I love the little wall. Yes, that was so cute. It's like <laughs> so precious. Yes. Good detail. Good detail. Um, yeah, so next episode, I'm interested to see what happens with like Liz and Max. I mean, yeah. She said I'd never want yeah. to see you again. I know. So yeah, is like, that going to actually happen? Where do go from that? Like, yeah. are they just going to be not talking for the next few episodes? Like, I mean, it, it would make sense. Yeah. I mean, like everyone, what? What's gonna be the thing that brings them back together, if it is a thing? If it even ends up being a thing in, in the show, it has to be. They, I, what's gonna happen? I truly think that they're I mean, definitely probably will. in game. Most likely, but it's just Get like what could you possibly say to fix that? Yeah, I don't Max, know. you better bring out that big game, boy. Yep, I think he makes She's a good man. point. What is it that's gonna make them have to see each other? Mm, I don't know. That's a really interesting right? question. Right? That's ugh. I can't even think of it. And I, I hope that Alex and Michael get back together. Oh, that's my hope every episode. Well, yes. But, but especially after seeing all that, I'm just like, you've been through enough. Just hold each other. Who <laughs> even cares about Max and Liz? Let's oh. just let's just hope for Michael and Alex listen, to get back together. <laughs> listen. I yeah. Since episode one, <laughs> Max and Liz do. Who cares? Yeah. But But you have to. They're main characters. Yeah. I still like I like them. I don't want them to be like not happy. Yeah. But if if they are not happy, but Malix is alive and well, then I'm happy. But, right. So yeah. what else really Yeah, matters? right. As yeah. long as the viewers are happy. Exactly. <laughs> and we love us some Alex. Well, thank you for joining us for episode six of Roswell, New Mexico. Thank you for Stepping in. Thanks for having. This is a lot of fun. Yes. It's almost like we should do videos together. I know. That's a really good idea. It's, it's so funny. Good. We actually do. Yeah. If you ever want to check out more of this duo, you can hop on over to Off Brand Girls on YouTube. Ooh, OBG girl. Yes. Come we get do. It. We do skits. We do crazy stuff. Just come check us out. Just watch us do stupid things and react to them. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Um, but anyway, this is Roswell Recap on Cafe Crashdown. Um, you will be able to check us out next week, as always. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah! Our episode of, what is it? Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! Uh -huh. sci-fi television shows oh. and movies what? and some that we've never seen before oh lord you know that you guys can actually tweet us at cafe crashdown and let us know some of your favorite tv shows and movies that you recommend for us to break down mm -hmm. and after we watch them we will either thank you for such a great pick or curse you for a shitty one so recommend at grown risk 
Mm-hmm. We will be live tweeting on Tuesdays. Yes. When we're watching Roswell, New Mexico on the CW. Yes. And you can catch us with the hashtag CW Roswell Recap. I'm sorry, wait. What did you say? The Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! Roswell recap. Oh, oh, it's the Roswell See Recap! See you Thursday. Woo!